these blocks in. I've already moved one lot. Here we go. I called him me mate Rob one at a time. One at a time. I'll be built like o Ogun time this is finished. These corners square at a complete 90 degree angle. How I've done it. It's the rule. Three, four, five rule. Right then, so as you can see, I've got some new goodies. So I'm all ready to rock and roll. Let's just smash this out today. Thank your mother for the rabbits. Going for five minutes. It will take me a bit longer than most people because I'm not a professional, but I'll get it done right. Then first block's going in. First block's is going in. Laying them up. Slow and steady, I'll get it done. You see, you've got to love that stuff. Check that out. I went and made myself a nice sausage sandwich, bit of brown sauce. God, I tell you what, this certainly coming on now, but having me mate as a scaffolder, James the Coy Whisperer. Hallelujah. Health and safety there, Ian. Health and safety. <laughs> Blocks, get it up to this level, and then we can concentrate on other things. Top lad he is. He's got hell of a skill. My pipe, let me just show you what I'm gonna do with it in a minute. Yeah, water's all in place. Blocks is all ready to go. Got me nipple. We all loves a nipple. Happy days. Yeah, we're still plowing on. Gotta be done. Gotta be done. It's not bad for a 16 year old, I tell you that much. All over it. More cement. These jobs just never stop. Absolutely buzzing for how much it's got done. Blocks is turned up. That's the first two loads. All systems go. That's the first lot in. I've got to move these first ones. Get them out of the back before he comes back with the second lot. All right then, here we go with the second load. Move that first lot. Here it comes in the second load. Then, I wonder how long this is going to take to get all of these blocks in. I've already moved one lot. I've got to move all of these now. Hell of a job. Here's our graft. We walk all the way around here, all by hand. Load them up, one at a time, one at a time. I'll be built like o Ogun time, this is finished. This is taking hours. Whew. I gotta call in a mate. There we go, I called him me mate Rob. He's <laughs> he's getting me out of this mess because there's no way I'm getting this done on my own. Hell of a job, look, looks like we got the rain coming. We wanna get this done before the rain comes in. Bringing them all in by hand. Wife's gonna go nuts, but I did put some sheet down. In here's not too bad because the pure fact I can get the old Dyson out and give it a good old polish up after it's done. Get it done before the wife gets home and she won't say anything. Certainly cracking on, got the last lot. There we have it. What a few hours work that was. My biceps feel like they're on fire. That's about 400 blocks there, if not more. Ready to go, ready to get in the mixer. Get this mixed up. I've got a load more stuff turning up tomorrow. I'm planning to get all of this in. Planning to get it in. I've just put my string lines down. I'll show you how I've done it. But before I did that, I've had the guttering down. A lot of you know that I've had a few leaks with the guttering. Well, what's happened? I've, done, I've got it down. I've tried fixing it as best as I can. And it's just, it's just no good. The seals are gone. It's warped. It's shaped. I'm going to replace that. I'm going to get some new guttering in. I can't really do that until I get the pond built up. Because I haven't got a long enough ladder to get to this. I was stood up here. Hang over here. I thought, well, the wife wouldn't have liked to see it. I'm going to wait until the blocks is up. And I'll sort it. But I'm going to order some new guttering. I need to do that. It's no good. Look at that. That's hell of a pile. Hell of a pile of blocks. <laughs> Look at them. Right then. So I just had something to eat. I had to have a bit of a break. Got this pond square, how I've done it. It's the rule, three, four, five rule. I'm gonna show you how that rule works and show you what it actually does to get your pond completely dead square. And so the base is completely set off and it's all ready. I've been stood on there, walking on there. It's ready to go to put the blocks in. But I've had a lot of people say, how did you manage to dig out your pond so square? And how did you keep everything so square and plumb? Well, I'll show you a rule that I learned a few years back off of my cousin, actually. He calls it the three, four, five rule. What that rule basically means is that you start at one point of your garden. Sorry about this leak. This is that guttering I'm on about. I need to fix it. Look, it's just coming in. Let's get back to this. So the three, four, five rule. So you start at one point of your garden or one point of your pond, wherever you want it to be. And what you do, drive a screw into the corner and then you have a string line running to the second corner and another string line 
set these corners square at a complete 90 degree angle, what you need to do is measure three foot exactly this way and put a mark on it. My mark's right there, like so. And then you measure four foot this way. There's another mark. And then you measure from that corner to that corner and you'll have exactly five foot. And what that will mean is that that corner is dead 90 degree angle. So that's set and plumb ready for my blocks to go into the ground there. To get that corner level in this one, what you do, you move this line as you got your five foot, to get your five foot exactly right, you move this line back until that there, you hit five foot, if you get what I mean, if you sort of understand where I'm coming from. So from there to there, it's five foot. So you use your three foot, your four foot, makes a five foot, makes your 90. And then you run off of that peg and then work your way down. You do exactly the same in this corner. Your three foot, your four foot, you get your five foot. And you get your five foot by adjusting this string out to until you hit five foot. As soon as you hit five foot, strap it up to the next corner and then you get your 90. And then you're prim and proper, ready to lay your blocks. The reason why I did that is for the reason that these two drains are the exact same distance from there to there to the edge of this is the blue line is where the block will finish that will be exactly the same distance from the lip of the drain from there to there is the same distance and then from there to there that block is the same distance and also from there to the block and from there to the block etc etc everything is prim and proper and that's how you should build a pond and if you're not going to do it like that don't bother building a pond because it's got to be bang on thank your mother for the rabbits as you can see here the blocks are in it's my birthday today but i still grafted i grafted all day every one of these blocks come through the house Happy, happy birthday to me. Thank your mother for the rabbits. Right then, so as you can see, I've got some new goodies. It was my birthday yesterday, so the wife kindly got me a few things ordered off the internet. Happy days. Basically, I needed some bits for my block work. Obviously, I don't have all of the tools in the world, but now I'm ready to go. So I've got my string lines, I've got my lump hammer, I've got my chisel... My bat, whatever they're called, but I know what I need it for. I got me pointer to point me blocks. Got myself some Feb Mix Plus. This here really does help when you're laying blocks. It's what I used last time when I built the pond. It certainly helps. Just gives you that little bit more playing room with your cement mix. I did order some pairs of gloves. I mean, it's a bit pointless now. All the blocks are already there, but I'm still going to need them today. And I got myself some wet wipes just to keep my hands clean as I'm going today. Happy, happy days. Look at that look. All brand new gear. That's the first for me, but I needed it. I needed it. Right then, good morning, everybody. So as you can see, cement mixer's in place, blocks are in place. What I've got to do here this morning now, today's the day where I'm going to lay my blocks. I'm planning to lay the blocks and get up to at least this height. I want to get up to at least the height of the boundary so I can get my filter house all finished off so i can get the base in for that this week as well and that means i can take this one back because any more block work that i need to mix up once i get to this level means i can finish this section i can finish everything finish all of the pipe finish the whole entire area and it will stop obviously all the rain that we're having it will stop any of the mud and stuff falling in because let me jump here a minute Ooh. as you can see as the water's running down through here because i've got low spots in the garden and bits and pieces the water's just caving in here and I keep scooping out mud and I want to basically get that block in there so then I can backfill that with concrete or pea gravel or whatever I put in there and I can just get it done. And I want to bring the blocks up to at least here today. That's my plan all the way around. But I'm not a professional. I still need to sort that guttering out. So overnight we had a fair bit of rain and that just shows how much rain's actually coming into my pond. That is a fair lot. So that's part of the reason why I'm pricing up that, how to get that fixed. I can't repair it, it's just warped and it's no good. But the plans today, we're going to get all of this block in and let's just crack on with the job. So I'm going to get set up, I'm going to bring down a load of blocks down here, ready to go. 
get, get the cement mixer ready, get my buckets out so I'm all ready to rock and roll. Let's just smash this out today. Thank your mother for the rabbits. All right then, so we're all set up. I've got a load of blocks there to play with. Hopefully that's enough to keep me going for five minutes. It'll take me a bit longer than most people because I'm not a professional, but I'll get it done right. Got all my tools that I'll need down there, spirit levels and bits and pieces. This is where I'll be cutting my blocks, cutting the blocks down to the size using a DeWalt. Got the cement mixer, got me water, got all my mixes mixed up over here, ready to go. Three to one mix. Just got a slight problem on my own trying to lift that onto there. Well, I might have to call in a mate to help me lift that up because I need to get it on there, but it's well hard. Yeah, water's all in place, blocks is all ready to go. So uh, let's crack on with it. Nice morning, see how much work we get done. Happy days. Right then, first block's going in. First block's is going in, like that. Right then, so I'm just building up the first coin now. Just uh, sorting it out. Laying in the blocks. Once I get these corners in, I'll be all singing and dancing. But laying them up, slow and steady, I'll get it done. Full time job this, see? Full time job. Get it in there, my booty. Like baking a cake. See these pockets coming handy? All the way from Chinatown. Where'd it go? That's what it's all about. Get a bit of the old Feb mix in, see? You've got to love that stuff. Bit of water in there. Jobs are good. Right then, so uh, certainly cracking on, but check that out. I went and made myself a nice sausage sandwich, bit of brown sauce. Thank your mother for the rabbits. But check this out. It's coming on. It is coming on. God, I tell you what, it's certainly coming on now, but I had a bit of a problem. Light's a bit rubbish at the moment, so I've got a bit of shelter up going on. There's a bit of light here, but not much. So I do apologize about the lack of footage I'm getting laying these blocks. I wanted to show you a little bit more, but obviously I got to crack on. I got things to do. Like I said before, rain, sunshine or snow, I will be out there. I will show no mercy. We will get the job done. Get on, Tobe. That's the hammer boy. Boy's home from school. That's the dedication he's open with his pond build. Any boy, yeah. got the Koi Whisperer march on. He's helping his dad. Look at the blocks we've moved. We're laying the blocks. That's the old gazebo going on, Abbey days. Get a bit of the old jungle juice in there. See all this rain? Don't affect me. Don't affect the proper Koi Whisperer. That's what it's all about, see? Show no mercy. Show no mercy whatsoever. Hallelujah. Nine to four in the field. My neighbors must love me. They, they absolutely love me. Perks of having me mate as a scaffolder. Called in, bit of scaffold, proper job. Show no mercy. That there will uh, definitely help me keep this pond dry. See, in life, it's not what you know, it's who you know. When you got mates like this, what helps you out? Happy days. Even brought the boy round. Say, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. James the Koi Whisperer. James the Koi Whisperer. Yeah! Get on my booty. You'll be on the video now. <laughs> we are absolutely saturated, but we're getting the job done. We are getting the job done. Well, Ian is. He's a grafter. The dedication he's doing, look. Happy days. Get on, my friend. Hallelujah. Hey, Elf <laughs> and safety there, Ian. Elf and safety. <laughs> Happy days. All right then, top of the morning. So, my semi shelter. It's a. Uh, it's not here for permanent, it's just here to do the job, but it allowed me to carry on last night. I carried on until 11 o'clock last night. 
I've got quite a bit done. The plans is to finish off this today, get up to this level. So then that means I can backfill all of that. I can sort out all of this, fill this with concrete, help structure my conservatory. I can sort this out down this end. I've got a pipe to fit onto there to get onto that section, but uh, we're just gonna carry on. Just got a mix going on at the moment. I've got me mate, Joey, uh, and um, he's, he's helping me today. So he's, we're gonna be laying these blocks, get it up to this level, and then we can concentrate on other things. But that's the plan, but look at it. It's still raining. It's still coming down. It's forecast now for the next two weeks. So you gotta make do when you can, but it's eight o'clock in the morning. And I've got this one here going. So if I get a noise complaint by my neighbours, you just have to put up with it for a few more days. Happy, happy days. Tell you what, the boy's got skills. The boy's got skills. Happy days. He knows what he's doing anyway. He knows more than me. Right then, so I just had a delivery turn up. So uh, I'll just put it together. I'm going to show you what it is and what I'm going to use this for. I got it from pipe stock and it's basically this is going to clamp to my pipe let me just show you what i'm going to do with it in a minute right then so this is how confident i am with all getting james to have a go at doing this for me so he's going to finish off this course of blocks get all this sorted for me happy happy days top lad he is he's got hell of a skill and he is a what you call an absolute beauty proper job but while we're there look this is what i'm up to in a minute i'm just sorting this out so basically what's going on i just i'm just dummy practicing on a bit of tube to make sure this fitting of how it fits it's worth weighing up because i drilled out a hole and i was a fraction too big so i've gone down a size and i've got it absolutely bang on now so what this will do this will clamp around this pipe that i've got so the dirty water that come will come out from here will run up through here it will come up in and into there so i'm going to get that set up the pump that goes in here, I'm not worried about the bends that I put on it to get it into there. For the pure fact, this pump's capable of pumping 10 metres in height. So if this will be more than good enough and then it will all run off into the sediment chamber and then into the massive soak away that I built. That's the plan, that's the idea and let's see how we get on. Right, so the hole's in. I've uh, given it a bit of a sandpaper. I've just cleaned it off, bit of a rag. Now I'm going to clip this one on and then what we'll do We'll clip this one on underneath. Got to make sure the boats sit inside of here as well. If the boats don't sit inside of there, then I won't get a good seal because this has got a rubber seal on the inside which clamps down to the pipe. I'm hoping this will work an absolute treat. So there's the clamp all clamped in. Just tightened E down. Absolutely perfect. Likes that. Now I've got my nipple. We all love a nipple. And that one there goes straight into there. I've put PCFE tape on both sides. And then I'm going to put this connection onto it as well, which will connect it to that in a minute. But I've got to cut that pipe down as well. He's built like a machine, look. Non-stop grafter. He's cracking on with that. I'm cracking on with this. Happy, happy days, boy. That's the hammer then. Mixer's going again. Like that. Look at that for a sloppy old mix. Perfect. This is certainly coming on now, on the last bit of this. Just finishing off this run. And then what we're gonna do, show you this. So I'm dead level there for this pipe. Happy days, all glued up, comes out of there. Loads of PTFE tape on that one, runs up. Loads of glue, loads of glue, loads of glue, and loads of glue. And part of the reason why I've put so much glue on is because it's going under the ground. And if it's going under the ground, I wanna make sure that it's dead, dead solid. So what's happening here is that the block from the inside of the pond is going to run all the way up here. So this is the void down the back. So this won't get in the way. Happy days. Another job done. Boy's got skills, see? Boy has got skills. Happy days. Look at it out there. Absolutely miserable. Rain coming in all over the place. But luckily enough, we got a bit of a makeshift shelter for time being. The frame's up. I just got to wait for a bit of timber to turn up so I can get a bit better timber on there. But yeah, we're still plowing on. Got to be done. Got to be done. 
happy days. Look at it though. Look at it. Look at the water coming down there. The boy's got some skills. Not bad for a 16 year old, I tell you that much. All over it. Happy days. More cement. These jobs just never stop. So, I'll give you a proper tour tomorrow. But where we're at, where we finished up today, I'm well impressed. I'm, so, I'm absolutely buzzing for how much it's got done. And to be honest with you, with the conditions that I've been doing stuff with, I'm so happy about my mate bringing around this scaffolding because without it, it would have not been possible. It was limited how we put it up because didn't have much gear on the van. Let me set it up. Totally brilliant. Let me just tell you my plan. That's being concreted tomorrow. I'm going to try to get that base level concreted. I've got a bit of working out to do. Where my pipes go and where the electrics go and things like that before I chuck, fill it with concrete. Because I've got to do it now. I've got to think. That's my job's tomorrow. But on that note, I'm super happy with how things are going. Thank you very much for watching the video. I'm going upstairs to have a shower. I'm absolutely soaking wet. Going out mixing that one. Chucking it in the pond. I've got to get this one back by Monday. It won't be here. So don't even think about trying to nick it. So I had a, sorry about that. The email saying, James, I know where you live. I'm going to come round to your back garden. Well, come round to me back garden. See what happens. See what happens. But that there's... Another story altogether. So on that note, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. And I will see you on the next one.